Tokozani, good day everyone. Please welcome back. This is Gogo Mahawa again. Please guys, remember to subscribe and like my page. Please. <laughs> okay, what's in a horoscope? Money. We're going to talk about money today. What's in a horoscope? The reason for this video is to clear some things. I don't want you guys to misinterpret me or have higher expectation when I talk about money or anything valuable, you know. And when you don't receive that, you know, because you were aiming very high and now you don't, be, you don't receive it, you know, and now you end up blaming me for putting those high hopes into your minds. Sometimes during a horoscope, uh, you know, because it's a general reading, I will pick up a card um, and I'll say something about um, abundance coming to you or financial gain coming to you for that month, which simply means that someone is going to receive money from somewhere for that period. Now the question is, how will one receive that money that I'm talking about? The money that I see in a horoscope, you know, because it's a general reading, it might come in, you know, in different forms, you know. Uh, some will, might, uh, might, for some, it might be an inheritance, a matured policy, a bonus from work, donation, payout of the work that they've done or for the products that they've delivered, someone giving you money, winning a jackpot, or maybe you are just lucky enough, you know, to, you know, you're, you're just walking around, you know, walking across the road and now you just saw money lying there. Someone passed before you and he dropped that money and away and he's not even around now. Now, because you've seen it, now it's yours because the owner is not here to claim it. Um, what I don't want you to do, guys, is to put high hopes, you know, uh, on things that you know you don't even own or you don't have a, you know, a right to or you don't qualify for. For an example, I'm going to give you an illustrative example here. Let's say I have six guys. The first one is A, second B, third C, fourth D, fifth E, and sixth is E. So A is a businessman who's doing tendering and supplies. B is selling sweets and other small items, you know, like sweets, cold drinks, all those small things. C is working in a company, earning a minimum wage salary. D is a 55-year-old man working a 9-to-5 job. E is not working and not selling anything. He's just lazing around. F is a gambler. When I talk about financial gain or abundance, you can't expect to receive a huge amount of money if you're not working, if you're not in a business, and if you're not gambling. Yes. Okay. For example, let's start with A. Since A is a businessman who's also doing tendering and supplies, he might receive a huge payment injection into his business or maybe a payment for that work that he's done or those, those goods that he has supplied. Or he might also be awarded a tender for millions, you know. That's how he's going to get his financial gain because he is into big businesses. Number two, since B is selling sweets and other small items on the streets, he cannot expect financial gain like the one received by A because he's only selling small items like cold drink Let's say it's summer, it's very hot, it's a very hot month, uh, you know, cold drinks are in demand. So B will, will, will buy more cold drinks and sell them on the streets, you know, and because it's in demand, it means that he's going to make more money out of that. So that's how B will make his money. Number C, since C is working in a company, earning a minimum wage, he might be getting a bonus that month, a salary adjustment, an annual increase, money from overtime worked, even if he's, he's, even if he's expecting that money, but still because, you know, it, it is still a financial gain, gain to him because that money, he doesn't get it every month, you know. It's just something that's going to come this month and then maybe once in a while, once a year, or, or maybe, maybe if it's an increase, obviously it's going to, you know, come every month from then on. That's what's going to happen to C. And let's check about D. Since D is a 55-year-old man working a 9-to-5 job and earning a minimum salary, he might be getting a payout 
from one of his retirement annuity funds because he's almost on pension or even for some of his policies which has matured. That's where he will get his money, you know. And coming to E, since E is not working and not selling anything, he must not expect anything, any policy, policy payout since he doesn't, he doesn't have any policy unless if he was working before and he had policies before, maybe they've matured, then he can get them. But he mustn't expect any bonus because it's not working. He won't get any bonus. He won't get any annual increase because it's not working. Instead, he might be given money by someone he knows, someone who's close to him. Maybe just a hundred rent is still a financial gain because you didn't work for it, because we're not even expecting it. Someone gave it to you, you know, but obviously no one can give you a 10,000 just for fun. Just say, take, here's a 10,000 for you. No one will do that unless if, if it's an inheritance or if maybe they pay out from, you know, maybe a funeral policy or, or something. Um, or maybe he might also be lucky enough to come across money lying on the street, somewhere on the street, you know, that will be his luck. Now coming to number six. Since F is a gambler, he might receive a huge amount or a small amount on his bed, depending on his luck for that month. Therefore, he must not expect a million when he hears me talking about financial gain, you know, <laughs> and abundance. Those small amounts that he wins still serve as a financial gain because he was lucky to receive it, you know? Yeah. Okay, the moral of the story here is for you guys to expect more financial gain, we need to pull up our socks. Let's work hard, guys. Let's work hard enough to be awarded more abundance. If you sit and lazy around, you know, and do nothing, how do you expect a financial gain? We need to work, to persevere, and to produce fruitful gains for us to live better, you know, for our family to live a better life, you know, to be able to support them. Remember they say, give, give makes tired, a person must produce his own. But still, it's still okay to share what we need, you know, what we have, you know, for the need, with the needy or to donate to the impoverished. They also say, a hand that gives also receives. And the Bible also says, ask and you shall be given. It's okay to ask, you will be given. But remember guys, you know, you can't just always expect to be given all the time. Well, people are waking, uh, are waking up every morning, five o'clock, six o'clock to prepare themselves to go to work. When I just sit around at home and do nothing, you know, just sleep until nine o'clock and expect someone to give you money at the end of the month. No, this is not life. We need to, you know, to improve the economy, you know, uh, the economy of our country. We need to do something. Even if, you know, the jobs are scarce, but at least have a hundred rand or a two hundred rand as a start. Go and buy something and sell and you'll see good results. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you did understand what I mean by financial gain. So we are not going to have any problems. We are not going to point fingers at each other. You will expect what you know that you, you are worth it. And you will expect what you know that you've worked for to go.